Hello everyone, and welcome to our video on basic circuit elements. In this video, we will be exploring some of the essential components that form the building blocks of electrical circuits. Understanding these components is crucial for anyone interested in electronics and circuit design. So, let's dive right in. 1. Resistor Let's start with the resistor. A resistor is a passive two-terminal component that restricts the flow of electric current. It is represented by a zigzag line symbol in circuit diagrams. Resistor values are measured in ohms, and they are commonly used to control current, voltage, and power levels within a circuit. 2. Inductor The next component we'll discuss is the inductor. An inductor is a passive electrical component that stores energy in the form of a magnetic field when current flows through it. It is represented by a coil or spiral symbol. Inductors are typically used to control the rate of change of current in a circuit. 3. Capacitor Moving on to the capacitor. A capacitor is another passive component that stores electrical energy in an electric field. It consists of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called a dielectric. Capacitors are denoted by parallel lines, and they are commonly used to store and release energy, filter signals, and stabilize voltages in circuits. 4. Load Resistor Next up is the load resistor. A load resistor, as the name suggests, is a resistor that is connected to the output of a circuit or device. It represents the load or the external device that the circuit is driving. The load resistor helps simulate real-world conditions and ensures proper functioning of the circuit. 5. Variable resistor Now let's talk about the variable resistor. Also known as a potentiometer or rheostat, a variable resistor allows for the adjustment of resistance within a circuit. It is denoted by a resistor symbol with an arrow or a curved line. Variable resistors are commonly used for volume controls, dimmer switches, and other applications where variable resistance is required. 6. Battery Moving on to the battery, it is a source of electrical energy in a circuit. It provides a potential difference or voltage across the circuit, which drives the flow of current. Battery symbols typically consist of long and short parallel lines representing the positive and negative terminals, respectively. 7. Variable Capacitor Now let's look at the variable capacitor. A variable capacitor, also known as a trimmer capacitor, is a capacitor whose capacitance can be adjusted manually or electronically. It is denoted by two parallel lines with an arrow or a curved line. Variable capacitors are often used in tuning circuits, filters, and frequency-dependent applications. 8. Sinusoidal Voltage Source, AC Voltage Next, we have the sinusoidal voltage source, which represents an alternating current, AC, voltage. It is denoted by a wavy or squiggly line symbol. Unlike direct current, DC, which flows in one direction, AC voltage alternates its polarity in a sinusoidal waveform. AC voltage sources are commonly used in power systems and electronic devices. 9. Transistor now let's discuss the transistor. A transistor is a semiconductor device that amplifies or switches electronic signals and electrical power. It has three terminals, the emitter, base, and collector. Transistors are vital components in modern electronic circuits and are used in amplifiers, oscillators, and digital logic circuits. 10. Diode The next component is the diode. A diode is a two-terminal electronic device that allows current to flow in only one direction while blocking it in the opposite direction. It is represented by an arrowhead pointing towards the direction of permitted current flow. Diodes are widely used for rectification, signal modulation, and protection against reverse current flow. 11. Ground Symbols Lastly, let's talk about ground symbols. The ground symbol represents a reference point in an electrical circuit. It is commonly denoted by a horizontal line with several branching lines going downward. The ground serves as a common reference potential for voltage measurements and is often connected to the negative terminal of a power supply or the earth itself. Conclusion 
And there you have it. We've covered some of the fundamental basic circuit elements, including resistors, inductors, capacitors, load resistors, variable resistors, batteries, variable capacitors, AC voltage sources, transistors, diodes, and ground symbols. Understanding these components and their functions is essential for anyone interested in electronics and circuit design. We hope this video has provided you with a solid foundation to explore more complex circuits in the future. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting videos on electronics and electrical engineering.